So the start of the hadith is so beautiful. As Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu stated, that Allah's Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam stated, deen is simple, subhanallah. Say subhanallah, subhanallah. Deen is simple, Allahu Akbar. Hell and heaven, who will decide? Deen. Your deen will decide hell and heaven, fate. Those who are going to Jahannam will be due to not having deen. And those who will go through the doors of paradise, it is due to deen that they will go into heaven. Deen. There's another hadith, the meaning of the hadith is, the deen is the differentiator that protects your dunya and your akhir. That no guard can protect you. No power can protect you. Whoever protects our, nothing can protect us compared to the deen. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi said initially, deen is easy. Deen is easy. And remember, this is what Rasulullah said. I'm just giving you the, the details of the hadith, commentary sort of, explanation. Explanation. The deen doesn't come by forcing. Deen has no link with strictness or forcing. It's easy and you acquire it easily. Say subhanallah. Subhanallah. It's not hard to acquire the deen. I haven't come with a hard thing for you to do, said Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi I want to take you into paradise. Said Rasulullah. I haven't come with a difficult practice that the, the so easy to practice deen in the world. There's nothing more easier than deen in this world. How easy it is to go walk to Fajr Salah in the morning. There's nothing easier than that. All day long you can work hard. There's nothing. What does Allah say then? That's okay. If you're ill, don't worry. Don't worry. That I like, I remember all your previous efforts. Say Subhanallah. That you used to keep on running and sticking to namaz. Allah says, I know your heart, how much you love my salah. So I know your heart that this moment you are upset and distressed that you can't go to salah. My heart, I know Allah says that you are desperate to do sajda and you want to, your masjid, you are dreaming about the masjid, going to the masjid when you close your eyes, you see the people in the masjid. The, when you love people, you see them. So Allah says, don't be worried, don't be upset. I make people ill. What is the hikmah I made you ill? Today I'll tell you something Allah says. Don't worry, what you do 40 times say, La ilaha illanta subhanaka indi kuntu minna dhalimeen. If you can't go to the masjid, every ill person when he recites this 40 times in his illness, Allah's Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Subhanallah, that if this illness you die, then it won't be a normal death, rather you will be a shaheed if you pass away. Subhanallah. And if you are healthy and you come back to normality, then listen, what did Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say? Subhanallah. Allahu Akbar. That the leaves in the trees in the world, all the leaves, according to the number of leaves, and the sand, the particles of sand in the deserts of the world, according to that number, if you have sins, to that number Allah will forgive all those sins. That no generation is hard to practice the deen. Deen is simple in every generation. And I will give you the deen of Ahdina Sirat al-Mustaqeen. Subhanallah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Next point, next reward. When you get such a deen straightforward, then it's obvious. Then the next thing Rasulullah said, then you, the second reward you will get is qurbilahi, nainis to Allah. You will get walayat, closeness to Allah, Allah's special qurb. Special qurb is walayat, friend of Allah. Walayat is such a condition, remember, remember, it's not every wali doesn't know he's a wali. Every kutub doesn't know he's a kutub. Every ghawth doesn't know he's a ghawth. Every kutub al doesn't know. No. Allah conceals it sometimes in the hereafter. There'll be so many people on the maqam, they won't know that they were walis of Allah. There'll be so many people, when they'll reach there, they'll be given that maqam, they'll be amazed that this was what I was in the dunya. I was a friend of Allah. He doesn't even know. Today people are lacking hope. They say, oh, I'm practicing. I don't know, can I be wali Allah or not? Can I be close to Allah? Says a sister, can I be like Rabia Basri? Can I get this maqam? Can I get this thing? My brothers, Allah's Nabi Sallam is saying, that when I prescribe to you the deen, whether you feel it or not, whether you realize the status or not, it's not necessary. But, but subhanallah, if you follow these principles I'm prescribing to you, Rasulullah said, then Qurbi Allah, you will attain 100%. And Qurbi Allah, Allah's name is Allah's Nabi, some if he's saying it, then that person will be no less than a ghost and a kutub in the hereafter. Subhanallah. What need we need to know? People, te- we tell them we're wali, or people know there's a, a label, he's a ghost of Allah. Will anyone let you sleep if they know you're ghost? Ding, please do it for me, brother. I've got problems. Ding, oh brother, do this for me. Ding, ring, phone call. Brother, do it for my kids. And you'll go to the shopping center. Hundred times, brother, please has a sub. Please do it for me. Do this for me. Oh brother, Janab, do this for me. Or say this, can it be? Impossible. You can't live a life normally. So isn't it better you stay hidden and it's not written on your forehead that you're wali Allah. Subhanallah. Say subhanallah, subhanallah.
Yeah, now have you got yakin now? That all of you are walis of Allah sitting here now? If you don't, if you have yakin, put your hands up. That you're walis of Allah. You don't have yakin? You are walis of Allah, put your hands up, mashallah. Put your hand up, I'll put my, my hand up. Have yakin in Allah. Have yakin in Allah. What do you think? What have you understood from this hadith? That what, what effect has he had on you? All these people sitting here. Why are you scared of Allah? Are you scared? Allah is thinking now. Allah, Allah, think good about yourself. Think good about yourself. Positive. Allah Ta'ala says, I know this man was a thief. And he was there, but he was hopeful of me that I'm a wali Allah. Straight away I put my hand up. Allah says, I made him a wali Allah then. Oh, Allah's Rahmah is looking for excuses. You don't need to seek excuses. That's why I told you to put your hands up. Foolish people, I'm the worst thief sat here. That's why I put my hand up. The Allah Ta'ala will say, oh, I have haya. Allah has the most haya from everyone. Shame that he had yakin in me, put his hands up. How can it be? I don't make him a wali Allah. says, impossible, he's a, he's a wali Allah now. He said, well, put your hands up again. Subhanallah, you are walis of Allah. Put your hands up. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Okay. See everyone, I've made everyone a wali or not, haven't I? Haven't I? This is the gathering of the dhikr of Allah. This is the effect. The consequence, do you accept or not? The angels are testifying today that all of these people are walis of Allah. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. So it's not written on the forehead. Allah said, Allah said, the second reward is qurbilai. Then it's Allah. Third reward, subhanallah. Third reward. Good news, you will start to get good news, glad tidings, positive news, Bumbashir. Allah says, I'm Rasulullah is Bashir, wa Nadir. All the glad tidings that Rasulullah gave in the Quran, in the Hadith, he mentioned for the Mu'mineen, that you, you will start to hear from your ears, from the angels before your death. Yes, the Quran says this. In your ears you'll hear, you're a good person, pious, salamun, 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 you'll hear this. Allah's Nabi Sallallahu has told us these three rewards. Honest deen, straightforward deen, doesn't matter how many fitnas in the dunya, but his deen will be strong. He will never get immersed in any fitna. He will never stop bidat, innovation, zulamat, oppression, khalis, pure deen, shari, atiullah wa atiur rasul will be his deen number one. Number two, Qurbilai, Nain is to Allah. Stamp and seal of Allah. He's a wali Allah, friend of Allah. Number three, Alhamdulillah. For him, that the hereafter will be waiting. The time will come. Allah will give him the good news in the world while he's living for the hereafter positive. Doesn't everybody want this? This hadith is prescribing.